Hey guys, this is Casey with the Savage Patch Kids, and today I wanna show you how to make your first mod in Robo Recall. Now this isn't the most insane world-changing mod, but it will at least get your feet wet in how to open up the project and modify things and kind of start to be creative when it comes to changing Robo Recall. The first thing that you need to do is get the Epic Games Launcher. And under Robo Recall, right here it will say download. You need to download the mod kit and it's pretty big. It's almost 20 gigabytes. So make sure that you have enough space. But once you download it and you get it all installed, you can open the Epic Games Launcher and hit launch. And then at least on my computer, it takes forever for this thing to launch. Um, so be patient, maybe go get some coffee and uh, wait for it to open up. It seriously takes for freaking ever. <laughs> but eventually it will open up in the Unreal Editor. And the first window that pops up is the new game mod window. This is an easy way to get started with what you want to mod. Now, again, we're not doing something super complicated here, but this is where you wanna start planning out what you want to make. So I have an idea for a automatic shotgun that's bright red. Why is it bright red? I don't know, because it looks different than a regular shotgun. And you know what? It's fun. So let's, and you know what? We could even do a pink. We could even do pink. I don't know. I'm going to call this um, awesome gun because then everyone will know it's awesome. Author is Ole Casers. Description, stupidly overpowered auto shotgun. Let's go with that. You can also put in some more information about you. You can change this later too. I'm gonna put roborecallmods.com and I'm gonna hit create mod. That's gonna make a new folder down in your content browser. And here we have awesome gun content. Double click on blueprints and under weapons. And I'm gonna double click on awesome shotgun. That's gonna bring up this window. And it really helps for you to be familiar with the Unreal Editor. You can totally follow along in this tutorial and get stuff done, but the more you know about the Unreal Editor, the better. So I'm gonna go over to our viewport just so we can look at the shotgun that we have. And I'm moving around by holding down the middle mouse button and moving my mouse until this is framed up. So we pretty much have two tasks here. We wanna make the shotgun automatic and shoot a lot of rounds. And we also wanna make it red or pink or something. So first let's change how it shoots. I'm here in the viewport. I don't have anything selected. And here in my details browser, there are a bunch of little options for how the weapons work. And you can go through and change these to your heart's content, but we're gonna be looking for things that have to do with how often the gun shoots and uh, how, how many rounds it has, things like that. So down under weapon, the first thing I'm gonna do is hit auto refire. This is gonna make this an automatic weapon, which is just insane. To, for a shotgun, but you know, it's a fun it's a fun time. Under the refire time, I'm gonna do something like, I don't know, 0 0.06 and see how that goes. It might be way too fast, who freaking knows? I'm also gonna change the ammo remaining and the ammo capacity. So let's do 18 remaining and capacity is 18, which I know is implausible for a shotgun, but you know what, it's silly world, so. We're just gonna go with that. Okay, now I'm gonna go up and hit compile and that pretty much just checks everything and makes sure that things are gonna work. I'm also gonna hit save. And now I'm gonna preview this in VR. And on my system, I have an Oculus Touch and so I have my Oculus runtime going in the background. And under my change play mode, I go to VR preview and I'm just gonna hit play and this should kind of close the Unreal Editor and bring up my VR preview. I'm gonna put on my headset, go over to the holodeck, and I'll go to my mod section and make sure to apply my awesome gun mod. And then I'm gonna to go to gun range and see what it does. All right, so after testing that, um, you can see that it's just crazy town. The automatic fire is pretty good, but um, there's so much recoil that it's just unusable. So um, we're gonna try and find something that maybe changes that recoil a little bit. Okay, so under recoil, we have recoil settings. So I think this is definitely going to help us out. So pitch minimum and pitch maximum. Let's take pitch minimum down to zero and pitch maximum up to like three. Max total pitch, let's go three. All right, so I'm gonna try that save it, compile it, and let's play. Okay, I'm gonna test it out this time. Definitely should have better recoil. All 
Okay, so that is a lot, a lot better. I mean, it's crazy, um, but you know what? I like it. So um, that's definitely very usable. I think I'm cool with that. Um, so now what I wanna do is change the color of this gun. And I just wanna make it like a plastic, like red maybe. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this editor and just move it off to the other screen real quick. And here in my awesome gun content folder, I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it materials. And I'm gonna make a, under materials and textures, I'm gonna make a new material. I'm just right clicking to bring up that menu. And I'll call this red plastic. So that's gonna make a new material. If I double click on it, it's gonna bring it up here in my editor. And I mean, there's just tons of stuff you can do with this. You can add textures, you can do all that. I'm just gonna do something really simple. I just wanna make this red and shiny. This little node thing is called a blueprint. And it's kind of like a more visual version of scripting. And so what we can do is set all of these attributes using different nodes in this big blueprint graph. Under category, I'm gonna search for constant and I'm gonna grab constant three vector and drag it in. This is where we can pick our color. So I'm gonna make it red, something like that, hit okay. And I'm gonna drag this little doohickey to base color. Now see what happens over here, it turns red. I'm also gonna grab something called constant and that's just a number. And over here on value, I'll set that to one. And I'm gonna connect that to specular and I'm gonna make another constant and leave that at zero and connect that to roughness. And that's gonna make a nice shiny red material. Looks good, I'm gonna hit apply and save and close my material in the editor. And then I'm gonna move my window around a little bit. Now here in my content browser in my main window, I have my red plastic material. So what I wanna do is apply this to my shotgun. So what I'm gonna do is select weapon mesh and that's the actual 3D mesh of the shotgun. And under details, I'm gonna go down to materials and here it says MI shotgun. And I'm gonna select this red plastic right here and just hit this little arrow and that's gonna apply that red plastic to my shotgun. So now if I click off of it, it should be bright red. Hey look, it worked. I'm gonna hit compile and I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna test it out one more time. Okay, so now I should have red shotguns that shoot automatic. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm happy with my mod, I'm gonna make sure everything is saved and go up to share mod and pick awesome gun, tell it where to go and hit okay. And it's gonna say it's packaging awesome gun for windows. It's gonna take a couple minutes and when that's done, I should have a .robo file that I can install and test out in the real game. All right, so it looks like the packaging is complete and I'm gonna close the Unreal Editor, navigate to my mods folder and double click awesomegun.robo. Would you like to install awesomegun 1.0? Yes. And it says it's been installed. Choose mods from the Robo Recall menu to use it. So I'm gonna hit play now and test it in the real game. So there you go, that's how to make a basic mod for Robo Recall. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like, and definitely don't forget to check out the latest in modding news at roborecallmods.com. We have a forum where you can search for new mods, connect with the modding community, and even post mods that you've made directly to the forum. So make sure to check that out, roborecallmods.com. Thanks for checking out this video. I will see you next time.